Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Sean White, and today I will be discussing sound testing for fan coils. Within Titus and our industry in general, there's two primary sound testing standards. AHRI 260 and AHRI 350. Now, if you're coming from the terminal unit fan box world, then you're probably more familiar with the AHRI 260. That sound testing standard generates two numbers. Discharge sound data and radiated sound data. If you take a look at figure one, you can see how the unit is outside of the reverberation testing chamber and that the discharge has been ducted to the inside of the test chamber where discharge sound data can be recorded. In figure two, you can see that unit is again outside the test chamber and the inlet has been ducted inside and that will give some inlet sound data. If we move on to figure three, you can see how the unit is now inside the test chamber and both the discharge and the return are ducted. This is essentially the three primary setups for AHRI 260. There's a couple more within the standard, but those would probably be the best examples. With those different testing setups, there's a common theme that you can see, which is ductwork is involved. Ductwork has a inherent dampening effect on sound and noise coming from the unit. With VAV products and fan boxes, they are under the AHRI 260 testing standard that provides two numbers, discharge and radiated sound data. Fan coils, on the other hand, follow a little bit different standard, which is AHRI 350. Under 350, you might, you might ask, so are we going to get discharge, radiated sound data, you know, what kind of sound data are we going to be provided with? Well, the answer is all of them and none of them. Under 350, you can see in figure 4 that the unit is just simply placed inside the test chamber. Depending on how the unit's going to be installed in the field or at the job site, it, there are four different locations for the unit within the test chamber, you know, whether it's a floor freestanding unit or hanging up in the air, you can see A and D and C and B. For C and B would be for units that are up against the wall. But essentially, you can see in all these different locations for this unit, the unit is in the test chamber, however, no ductwork is involved and the microphones within the test chamber are basically going to record everything. Discharge, radiated, inlet, all noises and vibrations coming from the unit will get recorded at once and put into a single number. We publish this single number for high speed, medium speed, and low speed and it is recorded in sound power. The issue with fan coil units and, and the reason 350 is around is that basically is just a complete and total raw sound power number for a fan coil unit. It's everything. It's all the different types of sound into a single number. And the reason is, is there's just so many different installation methods for fan coils above the ceiling, hanging from the ceiling, in the room, behind a wall, in the closet, etc., etc. And all these different installation types can make it a bit of a nightmare to come up with a standard NC deduction to use on the sound power levels coming from the test chamber of four fan coils. Because each installation method will generally have a different set of deductions, a different set of conditions, depending on how that unit's installed, to the point where it's virtually impossible to come up with NC deduction values. So different companies within the industry will test their fan coil units to one of the two standards, 350 or 260, or even both in some cases. For us, we publish in 350. There's several other companies that do 350 as well. I think there's a handful that use 260, but each testing method has its advantages and disadvantages. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.